Welcome to Feng Shui Mastery. My name is Kathy Harden, and I'd like to introduce you to a subject today called space clearing or space cleansing. And the best way to describe it is: Have you ever been into a new place, and whether it's a hospital or law court or somebody else's house, and you just get this feeling, and it doesn't feel great? Because I have been in many, and you don't know what it is that's creating that feeling but you just know that something has been communicating with yourself which tells you from all the different senses you have and your sixth sense maybe even your seventh sense that something is not right now before I go on to explain a little bit more about that first of all I'd like to tell you a bit about myself so you know where I'm coming from so who am I well that's a big philosophical question of course but what I've done so far is I've been involved in radio journalism I've been teaching in universities schools colleges as a health practitioner complementary therapist and done lo lots of teaching on the feng shui and also a health professional and it's because of the health professional status that I've had access to over a thousand homes um, in the UK and around the world where I've gone in and out of homes, p predominantly for people's health reasons, but it's then that I've noticed that the environments are often creating the health problems, but people are not aware of what it is they're living in, um, let alone the obvious clutter and chaos with, with, with clutter around them. This particular webinar is more about the subtleties of what it is that creates a feeling in a home, but we don't always know why. Um, and it's the same for officers. I've been in lots of offices and hospitals, nursing homes, care homes. And I'll explain a little bit about how these patterns have come about. But my experience um, in all of these places led me to discover more not just about the feng shui but a little bit more deeper um, on the esoteric level of how do these patterns that we cannot see but we can feel come about so I've had lots of comparisons in my life of places I've lived um, I've lived in inner city in the UK where there were no trees in this around the school area and there were no flowers um, just pure concrete and then I've been transported almost into another school on the outskirts of the city where it was totally opposite. And boy, did I notice the difference in the pupils. Lots more aspiration, confidence, optimism and vision. So I feel quite um, able to talk about how environments impact us, um, having also gone to university out on the coast, the west coast there, California, Santa Barbara, and I've gone from the inner city of Liverpool to the outer outskirts of of, um, of the west coast, and you know, obviously, it's a different culture, a different place, but you can just see how environments do shape people's mindsets. Um, and I'm not dismissing that mindsets are created, and they are environments of of their own internally, internal to all of us. And that's another aspect I do look at in the Inside Out Feng Shui webinar. So how I've used this myself is I've done lots of space cleansing of properties and I've rented out my own properties, um, developing them in con um, configuration to the Feng Shui principles. And I've had tenants stay there a long time. Why? Because they're attracted to the feeling, the feeling that it makes them feel when they're living there. I've written articles for interior design magazines, done talks for them and also done demonstrations for various retailers. So leaving that, that's the backdrop and the question now is why is this essential for you to hear this? Why is it relevant? And I've given the reasons um, in accordance with the five elements um, which are pivotal to understanding feng shui anyway. But space cleansing is not actually part of feng shui, it's the pre, pre part of it. You can't really start looking at the principles of feng shui until you get these areas sorted. Clutter is one and space cleansing is another. So, 
Um, why is this relevant to you? Well, I know that people have gone into homes and they're perfectly healthy, confident individuals and after a period of time they've degenerated, they've deteriorated um, they have felt that the environment is not supporting them for who they are or where they want to go in their lives and this causes disease not just of the body but also the mind um, and what people don't realize and they, they operate this in other cultures is that you have to cleanse the esoteric the etheric web that we cannot often see but we can feel we can feel it and no other cultures uh, outside the, the Western world would dare to go into a place without I don't mean cleaning it I'm talking about cleansing it um, whether you do that through ritual whether you do it through some other procedure it doesn't matter um, that you instigate some form of cleansing that space so that you make it your own because I've known people who've said they're in this house but they don't feel it's theirs I've personally um, experienced that myself now if you move into a place or even if you've been living there for a long time and you still don't like it you know everybody wants to feel that they're flowing that that, that where they are is they're at peace but also that you know it's not like holding them to ransom that they don't feel like a prisoner in their own home so this is the reason why this webinar is essential for people who are not necessarily dynamic but they don't want they want to feel that their home is their castle so to speak everybody wants to feel that they're growing but if there is something in the environment that's happened that you don't know of or whilst you've lived there there's been conflict there's been family disputes and out of that nothing ever really kind of got better then this is the webinar for you to listen to because I'll show you how to dispel that dispute feeling how to dispel that frustration by cleansing and you yourself will do this I won't be offering to do it because it's only when you actually do it yourself and put yourself through that procedure that you learn and let go of whatever is the feeling you're picking up on and I'm not saying it's just all coming from yourself but it could be just a web it's, it's a web of, of, of often moisture, water hanging in the air water holds memory so if there's moisture in the atmosphere then anything that's happened in that area will be absorbed by the water and then it starts to create patterns look at Dr Emoto's research on crystals and how certain feelings of, are put into water and they create a totally different crystal structure um, but more of that later so what about if it's you that wants to actually get on with your life get activating it you know you want to have some results but you can't have results if you don't actually take action but there's something in certain environments that just nothing manifests it's th it's almost like there is something stopping you from moving on um, and often once again it's not just about what was there before you moved in it can be something that you created yourself or other members of the family did and so once again if there's been disputes between partners or children it's very good to cleanse that energy and I think of my own family um, really having a dispute with sister but we've never really looking back and never cleansed it until I learned more about this area and um, when I was selling the house I cleansed it for the next person coming in but most people would never ever do that so all you're doing is you're walking into somebody else's energetic debris and you often live out those actions or that psychological mindset um, you know if you've ever lived in a street or an area cul-de-sac or something and you'll see that the same house often offers the same future for the, for different inhabitants or residents residents they live out the same there's usually one house where divorce will always happen because the patterns are being repeated 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 now we can see this down through the generations of of, of your own ancestors you know but I'm talking about environments and how they also do repeat 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 patterns unless you consciously cleanse them I'm not necessarily talking about ghosts or anything like that I'm talking about patterns that we all climb into and then continue to live out now if you're somebody who wants to 
increase in my space and receive all the fruits of your labor but you feel that actually nothing's manifesting there is something blocking it what can that be if you feel that you're being dumped on if you feel that you've got bad neighbors um, and they're dumping on you then you know there's only one way to get through it and that is one is protection and two is making space cleansing that space that you're living in okay so let's move on we're going to look at the history and cultures that have always instigated this procedure of cleansing their space both on religious grounds cultural grounds more maybe kind of um, esoteric grounds suspicion um, we're looking at protection and why in many ways that is important or just to be aware of it um, looking at different procedures that may suit you may not suit you some are cover um, that are intrusive that you have to actually get involved yourself others are non-intrusive where you can just place something and it can do its own job um, don't forget to always be grateful and celebrate what you've achieved just by doing those procedures and celebrate the results as well also celebration by bringing in lots of energy from good people that you know who can harness the energy in a room and change change it that's another way of actually changing the atmosphere of a house or a room and finally looking at the benefits and the outcomes to these procedures so let's move on um, I would just like to remind you that this is all coming from the awareness of the feng shui philosophy and I bring your attention to energy what is energy everything is energy the table the computer yourself we're just vibrating at different dimensions different levels um, and so often people are attracted to energy which feels good you know think about the hotels you've walked into in your life think about the great places or the great people that have made you feel good wouldn't you want more of that of course you would so why not make your own home one of those places where when you put the key through the door you walk in and you feel just great um, it's got great energy in there now looking at the pyramids um, uh, Egyptian pyramids they were all, and the ley lines they were all devised to actually harness the the energy in going through the earth so that's why a lot of churches were built on the ley lines pyramids Stonehenge and it's a big big subject believe me but if they if, if they that was believed way back you know thousands of years ago then what's different about the kind of places that we inhabit do you think they're excluded from the whole energetic connection no they're not so what is the best thing you can do to harness that energy you've only got to look at the political feng shui of major cities in Europe and in in the in North America how they've been patterned and devised to harness the energy of the people so that a few people a few elite hold them the power in the world and that's all devised by how buildings are patterned, patented, how they are designed and how the energy is channeled to just a few which is why the Forbidden City was all based on feng shui principles to capture and mon monitor and enhance the energy of the Emperor so talking about China the ideas about change um, in our lives come from the I Ching the book of changes and the one thing that's constant is change so bringing it back to what I'm talking about today is space clearing is that you have to change because if you don't or if you don't kind of go with the flow the flow then you know I guess we just become frozen and many of the great artists have spoken about and sang about the concept of frozen and you've even seen some of the recent um, films about being frozen and you know it, that, that in itself causes pain doesn't it um, so I'm here today to demonstrate to you that doing these procedures will be enormously energetically shifting in your life and where you live that you will open up new doors to move on and discover more about 
the intelligence that you harness within yourself and how you can use that to the best of your ability. But first of all, you have to do this. So, throughout the history and cultures of many, many places I've been to, um, I began to notice that there were some quite horrendous looking, scary looking um, faces right across the world. And I thought, well, that's not very nice. And, you know, places like Bali, um, Sri Lanka, Kerala. Um, I first noticed it in India. I turned up in, sorry, not India, Greece. Um, I turned up in Greece when I was 18 and everywhere they had this, um, this eye. And it was explained to me by the children that I used to teach that um, what it was for. And I thought, oh, that's just superstition and it's all hocus pocus. But of course, I bought one, you know, many years ago. And um, it's not until I've travelled further and further and gone to the east and even amongst the Maori culture in New Zealand and um, Polynesians, you will see faces. Um, this is not from there, but I've got photos of of their buildings and above them they'll have those faces with, oops sorry with the tongue the tongues hanging out and quite scary and I've also um, been all over West Canada um, visiting some of the First Nation communities and some of the totem poles are also a bit kind of frosty they're not always welcoming and then I began to realise that these are all about protecting oneself. Um, I mean you've got the two snakes here at the side. It's almost like warning off. Um, I mean, I do believe there's a spiritual reason for, the, for these snakes as well. It's about the energy within all of us. Um, almost like Kundalini energy coming from the base of the spine um, and moving upwards. But all these are on the outside. They're, they're demonstrating. They're actually warning the possible intruder to be aware of what lies inside and um, it's very powerful and the colors are powerful and here we have you know I mean this is not so much warning off but it's certainly through the stillness and you'll see this in Tril all over Sri Lanka and this is from Thailand that through the stillness of the Buddha there is almost like a warning not to disturb the peace. Um, so what does all this mean? Well, I've taken some examples of um, France during the plague, 16th century, where people have always had to protect themselves on all different levels, not just physically, but psych psychologically and psychically as well. And this was just an example of when the plague came the two people that often visited people in their own home was usually the doctor to declare that they were dead and secondly um, if there was legal um, dealings to be done and rather than go out there and expose themselves to the pl plague um, they often would protect themselves and so here we see this example of this plague doctor now I learnt a lot about this because I'm also a aromatherapist um, teacher many years ago and people doctors would protect themselves by putting this mask over them and every inch of them was covered but in the beak what they would stuff in the beak would be things like rosemary, um, marjoram, sage, thyme, all to protect themselves from infection and um, the gloves that they were wearing, the leather gloves, some of the people who survived the plague often were the perfumers and you think, well, well, why would that be? And it's because when they dipped the chamay gloves that they had made into the essential oils, the essential oils are antimicrobial, antifungal, um, antiviral, and they often were the ones to survive because the, the essential oils are transported into the bloodstream immediately. And because of the, all those anti-protectors, protectors, they often survived the infection. So you can see that at this stage, um, think aromatics, perfumes, essential oils were used. Herbs were used as a form of protection, both physically and psychically. 
and it wasn't until um, quite recently, well it's a hundred, almost a hundred years now, that they used to put rosemary in, in, in vases in the wards in England and that was often not only to cleanse the energies of the of the hospital wards but also they believed that it warded off any sp any any unwanted um, psychic attack or protecting people from further deterioration of course they don't use that today but also if you if you if you know a bit of history in terms of the hospitals that they built the hospitals separate the wards were separate so that with TB it wouldn't be um, infect infectious, they wouldn't contaminate each other and so in between they would have gardens and in those gardens they would have herbs and flowers that were very protective and offered um, sustenance to the, to the patients and the doctors and nurses. So we can see that you know mankind's always tried to protect itself um, the best way they've known how and that protection has gone on to create people protecting not just the front of the entrance of their homes but internally as well and there are many different procedures so I've just laid out a few here that I've used um, some people use crystals others use the sage stick there's even simple things like lemon and vinegar um, others use sound the importance of sound and the and the Tai Chi balls so some that are more intrusive are like for example this carbon the carbon charcoals which you know you can buy and you just put some resin of herbs on there or in this case you've got frankincense now I do have um, some YouTube videos explaining this on my channel what is feng shui you can go there and have a look but it's an absolute great way of putting the carbon on a terracotta pot and it does smoke when you light it it is dangerous in terms of it fires up very quickly but it just creates a smoke and a resin of frankincense all over the house and what you're doing there is you're breaking down the patterns in the corners in rooms that you never go into and you clear you go into each and every room and every part of your home to do that now that's more intrusive because it creates smoke um, but there are ways and means of getting rid of that smoke but what you're doing is you're dismantling the spider's web of energy that's being created over centuries over depending on how old the, the building is but it's not just about the building it's also the land so the Native American Indians would never dream of settling anywhere until they cleared the land in their own ritual form format everyone's got a different ritual format but they would cleanse it and in a, in a ceremony of their own they would give thanks to the land so they've got a, a direct connection relationship between themselves and the land whereas in the West there is a total disconnect you know and then people wonder why they're ill okay let's look at the non-intrusive so this m what I mean by non-intrusive they're m things that you can do and nobody else is going to ask you questions nobody else is going to say oh, what does that mean um, I've like a, a, a mirror a Chinese bagua mirror with a, a this has got a um, convex mirror to it but it's basically warding off and it's only put outside it's warding off any unwanted chi that you may be opposite you may be opposite a railway station you may be opposite something that is not like a pylon so you want it to bounce back not come into the home um, hanging a crystal um, in certain compass directions of the home will create rainbow effects and that is a great way it's like an aspirin on your home it cleanses up the, the, the energy in, in a room so when you walk in you see the rainbows refracting right across the that particular room and it's very uplifting um, so there are more other ways of using salt um, and essential oils to burn that um, are not evident to anybody who um, will start asking questions and you know if you've moved into a new home one great way to change the energy is to, ha is to have a, a housewarming party bring in the people that are the best for you and 
have some music, music and sounds. Sounds are very important, that's why they use the singing bowls. Now if you go into what is Feng Shui My Channel and my Facebook, Kathy Hargadon, there are videos there where I'm interviewing a, um, an Indian Buddhist who actually shows and demonstrates what the purpose of the singing bowls are. And um, besides changing the vibrations of your own internal patterns, it's also designed to cleanse a room and such fantastic demonstration um, you won't believe it when you see it and so they're the more intrusive um, procedures but what better way is to bring in the sounds and the light of people who are your friends and have a party but don't forget to celebrate how great you feel when you've cleansed your own home so the benefits and outcomes to using this approach are enormous. First of all, it cleanses away the energetic debris. What does that mean? It means that you now own your own space. Your own intelligence can come out and demonstrate your own patterns in your own home. You're not being mystically being led by the debris, the negative chi of people past or people you've had in your home and you're no longer want them there and they've gone um, whether they're lodgers renters husbands wives you know um, or if there's a conflict you're cleansing that air you, 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 you we actually say you can cut the air with it with, with a knife well we want to actually cleanse it you get an opportunity to start afresh how many people feel that they just feel that they're often in a downward spiral with the same patterns time and time again you're going to create your own vision through creating your own patterns of optimism. You also move in a different direction because once you've cleansed the space and in my previous webinar you've cleared your clutter, you now have a space to go and be more relaxed and see what's open to you in your life because all the clutter and all the invisible energetic patterns have actually been fogging you and when they're lifted it's almost like a fog or a mist has lifted in your life and now you see on the horizon what is out there for you um, once again clearing the atmosphere excellent for after arguments feuds if there's been illness um, or there is illness disease losses even if they're financial um, or if there's been floods or there's been a fire um, excellent to do that after those kind of events um, conflicts divorce um, and you know even if you've just got married I would always please cleanse a room a house um, if you've just bought a place or renting a place and you're starting off life afresh if you've had a baby then cleanse that atmosphere because the baby's astral aura will pick up on those patterns because I know I did okay so there you are, the benefits and the outcomes are huge. Now, what I've put together, um, realizing that this is a really powerful way to get started, is a variety of space clearing kits for people who want to dip in and just get started today. So some of them have got sage stick, carbon coals, frankincense, and incense sticks. Others are a little bit more sophisticated, like the next one down. They've got the hanging crystal, They've also got the Bagua mirror. And then the next one down has a few extra things in it. But if you go to my website here, um, my Shopify site, or my website, wealthyspaces.com, then there is a shop there, and you can choose at your own ease which would be the best for you to get started. So I'll give you a bit of time to write that down, or you just go to wealthyspaces.com, and the whole shop is on there anyway. There's even more you can actually bring in hanging coins, um, the Buddha statues, if you want to start moving in with your feng shui principles. So you've cleared your clutter, you've say space cleared your, your area, and now you're asking, where do I go from here? What do I want to pull into my, my home? What do I p want to put in on the walls? How do I want to feel? And then there's more variation in this kit here. Um, where we're looking at using envelopes and coins, but that's a for a later webinar. But feel free to go to my website and just look at what would suit you the best to get started now. Not forgetting 
there is an offer on where you can have my full ebook describing what to do, how to do it, what precautions to take um, in terms of just being very down to earth, safe, safety aware really. Um, there are seven webinars and there's three videos on how to. So I'm actually describing to you what you do. Um, you've got six one hour calls with me throughout any one year. If you, if something's not right or if you're not confident about getting started, often it's just the first step and it doesn't take long by the way. We're talking a few hours, if that. And also 12 month email access to me. And if you want to look at this package seriously, then look no more because here I actually tell you that I'm going to introduce you to Feng Shui and Space Clearing. I'm going to help you start preparing and what procedure is best for yourself. Um, I'm going to show you the in more intrusive procedures, but you have a choice at all times. The non-intrusive procedures where you put things and situate them there and you just ignore it right basically and it does its job for you um, we'll look at products that are best for your situation and then we'll go on to how do you create new patterns you know you've got rid of the old ones but what what patterns do you want to create and finally the webinar seven what do you want to do with the space so we'll look a bit more then at the feng shui ideas of color di um, geometry shape aroma and sounds because sounds are also a way of cleansing a space but you want to put sounds back in now that are going to inspire you so the value of these individual webinars are $297 each that's the value of them why because it's a difference between you feeling great about yourself and you feeling not so great and stuck and frozen in time it means a difference to a business whether you have cash flow or don't have cash flow or bringing in customers and clients or don't have them coming in because people often they will go with a hunch they think it's a hunch but what it is is they're picking up on the patterns of your home they're picking up on the patterns of your um, business so even patterns in your car you know where you do all your thinking so they all come to just over two thousand dollars for the seven but hang on here when you look at that you're getting three videos and you're getting seven webinars and you're getting six one hour skype sessions to me and 12 months email access and i can't even do the maths because i haven't added it up properly but you can do the maths and you're looking at over four thousand dollars in value think about the time think about the difference it's going to make in your life where the fog is going to dissem disseminate. It's not going to be there. It's almost like giving you self a, a complete work over, but it's it's your house and your environment you're doing that for. And you're going to be the, the beneficiary of that as well as your family and your loved ones. So what I'm going to offer, because I know this is very powerful and it can affect everyone's lives. And if this is not for you, I bet you any money, that you know somebody else who would benefit from this. How many homes have you been into or the loved ones are dogged by certain feelings in a house and they just can't get rid of it? And people live out their lives according to the geometry and the patterns in which they live. So here is the website because that whole package I am offering to yourself now for only $297, which is unbelievable value as you know and if it's not for you why not buy this gift voucher for your loved ones or someone rather than buying something more for people to actually hang up in their wardrobe or yes again another ornament something that's actually clogging and adding to poor space in their home why not give them something where they can actually learn how to do the opposite and feel better about it so if you take down that website there, wealthyspaces.com forward slash space clearing patterns, that takes you directly to the PayPal page and you can pay by credit card by the way. But that will give you access immediately to the course and the ebook, etc. So 
changes are a coming. That is a must. And it's also a definite when you do this course and changes that you want to bring in to your life. Now, I'm giving people f the first 30 days free in terms of if they're not happy, they don't want it, whatever, then they can refund it. Um, so it's 100% guaranteed satisfaction. I can help you remember I'm on the end of an email, I'm on the end of a Skype. If you think that you're not doing it properly or you just want to hear someone's reassuring voice that they're doing the right thing, that is fine by me. I've been doing it all my life so it's not something new to me. Um, while I've been talking to people on webinars, they've actually been clearing their desk as, they, as I speak. They've gone in and got rid of all their clothes they've been keeping for years and years and years. Or people have started painting and they're talking to me on the webinars. So this is the website to go to to get that package now. And I believe you will not ever regret it. And why not join me on my new webinar, How to Declutter Your Home. Now. It's best to get rid of your clutter first before you do the space clearing. I've always said that. And if that's what you want to do, um, then take note of this website, wealthyspaces.com forward slash web clutter. That will take you directly to uh, my webinar on decluttering and how to get started there. There's a package there also which will help you. And think about it, the value that I'm offering, that's the price of two sessions with counselling <laughs> or psychotherapy so for me you've got me for a year and I'm going to help you help yourself um, I don't believe doing things for people I believe in empowering people so that they can do it for themselves plus they can show other people as well so that the energy ripples out like the spider's web right across the world and I believe that when you start to take out the clutter in your life I believe that when you space clear your home, that new things on the horizon occur for you. And then the intelligence within, within you starts to come out. You can start to relate to yourself better because you're not being distracted, confused or, or brought into chaos by what's around you. Whether it's invisible patterns or whether it's a visible clutter. So I'll leave you there. Don't forget to go to my website there if you want to buy that package now makes a brilliant present as you know and um, all for yourself good luck thank you for listening